Oxygen Blast Technical Seminars are an Intertech production. For instructor-led.net, Java, and XML courses, visit us at www.intertech.com. Once we've got a resource, what do we need to do? Well, remember, the resource is the noun. We need also the verbs about the actions we want to take on that noun, on that resource. And again, in the HTTP world, uh, the World Wide Web, we'll use the HTTP methods to provide those verbs. So JAXRS is built around the World Wide Web HTTP methods of get, post, put, delete, and head. So all we have to do is annotate our POJOs and the methods in our POJOs with these notations, these at get, at post, at put, at delete, and at head annotations to specify which method is to be invoked under which method call, if you will, which verb. So let's take our example again. In the Hello World web service, we're going to call the say hello method when we get a get request in at this particular URI location. And of course, we can provide methods for all the various annotations that we see here listed, get, post, put, delete, and head. These methods have to be declared public. And hopefully that makes sense since these web services are essentially public-facing. We want these methods available publicly in our environment as well. What these methods return, in this case our say hello returns a string, is help dictating what type of information is being sent back to the client. Also, to some degree, the format. We'll talk a little bit more about the format and what some options are there to change the format in just a bit. If a resource returns void, however, then our server has reacted to a request, a RESTful request, fine, but there is nothing to respond back to the client with, if you will. It's an empty response, and so what we have is a message that goes back to our client with an HTTP 204 status code. In case that we got your request, process it okay, and nothing further is needed. So as you can see, not only does the RESTful world, and in particular JAXRS world, take advantage of the World Wide Web paradigm, inside of our API, but we also take advantage of things like the HTTP status messages to help complete our transactions. So let's take a uh, look at a very simple RESTful demo here. In JAXRS, we'll take a look at the Hello World demo running in Eclipse, and then we'll take a break here this afternoon. So let me uh, allow me to bring up my Eclipse environment. Give me one second. Okay, folks, again, this code is available online at the URL I provided you earlier, and again, I'll provide that at the close of our talk here today, so you can certainly download uh, all that you see here. And what I've got up at this point is a very simple, plain old Java object, POJO, called again, Hello World Resource. You'll notice that this particular Hello World Resource class is annotated with the at path, so that's designating it as a RESTful resource. And in this case, we're going to get to that particular hello world resource with a slash hello world URI. Notice again the imports, and I'm going to expand the imports here a little bit, and you'll again see the JAX WS RS path. So we get the uh, Java X imports there to allow us to use these annotations. In this particular case, my hello world resource has two methods, two, if you will, verbs that it's going to offer. Say hello, as well as echo hello. In the case of say hello, you'll notice that's located underneath the at get annotation. So this is the particular method that's going to be invoked uh, when I call hello world resource at the hello world URL with a get HTTP request. And we've got the echo hello, which is located underneath the at post annotation. So as one might expect, we're going to call echo hello when a client requests hello world resource using post. Now, the app path and the message piece that you see there, along with the app parameter annotation that's part of this method, we're going to talk about that after the break. We get into a little bit more details of the RESTful JAX RS API. So for now, just kind of sit back and enjoy the show, and we'll talk more about those here in just a bit. How else or what else do we need to do to get our environment up and running? Well, in my particular project, not only do I have my hello world uh, resource.java file, but I must also up the web XML file, I must also, again, inform my web application that I have Jersey in my environment. 
So the Jersey jar files have been loaded up into my project. And I've also got this servlet element that says we're running uh, Jersey. In this particular case, I've named the uh, servlet container, that's the Jersey uh, servlet adapter, uh, Jersey. And I provided a mapping, a servlet mapping for Jersey, which says anything with a slash resources is going to be designated for that servlet container, and thereby routed to my particular web services, uh, in this case, my Hello World resource. So now let's go ahead and give my uh, web service a try. There is a neat little client tool that you can bring into your uh, Eclipse environment, HTTP 4E client, that I've got uh, loaded up and ready to go here. Uh, you could use a simple browser, but we're going to use this little client. And in particular, you'll notice my URL here to my host, localhost 8080, because I'm running in Tomcat. RESTful Context is the name of my particular project. There's that resource, whoops, sorry, highlighted too much there. There's that resources designation, part of my servlet mapping. There's my hello world URI for my hello world resource. And in this case, I'm just going to leave off any other designation at this point. Just leave it at that and call this particular URL with get. So let me go ahead and execute. And what do we see? My get request went out. And in the response, there I get my hello world string as designated by my say hello method. Now let's take a look at what we would get if I send a string. We'll say hello restful class um, to intertech. And we'll send that to the same resource via not get, but via post. And I see my request again going out by HTTP post. And what's in my response? Well, I'm echoing again my request. And so I see the hello, restful, welcome to Intertech, just as one would expect in my echo hello method. So again, what I have to do to set up my Jersey environment and get my very first RESTful web service up and running, download Jersey, make that a part of my project, implement or provide, if you will, the uh, servlet container, the adapter, the Jersey adapter in the WebXML via servlet and servlet mapping, write a POJO, annotate my POJO, and I'm ready to rock and roll as a RESTful web service provider. For more free learning resources and to see the latest lineup of our instructor-led.net, Java, and XML courses, visit us at www.intertech.com.